something so exciting. Throughout the summer, we're going to be coming to you with weekly videos as we prepare some recipes with Manitoba Pork's Girl's Guide to Grilling. Today we've consulted our Manitoba Pork Girl's Guide to Grilling and are going to prepare a balsamic Dijon pork tenderloin. It is one of the leanest meats. Actually, I make this at home all the time. Love pork tenderloin. This one with a little bit of grilled peaches. And we're going to start uh, with trimming off some of the fat and silver skin. Now, I just recently came to learn what silver skin is. And uh, you can find it sort of here on the meat. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, and it's a bit of a connective tissue. It doesn't enhance the meat at all. It's not necessary. And in fact, removing it is your best idea. So when you start things off with your pork tenderloin, what you want to do is get underneath that silver skin, Let's get a sharp blade, and uh, put your knife in between the silver skin and the meat. Now, if you pull on the silver skin nice and taut, it will help you to remove it a little bit faster and easier. Also, Putting the pork tenderloin in the freezer for about an hour will really aid in removing the silver skin easily and efficiently. So we're going to get that all cleaned up and then get ready to cook this pork tenderloin. Alrighty, so here we have our tenderloin. It is all cleaned up and ready to go, so we want to put it on a clean plate. Move it over there, and then we are getting ready with our wet rub. Just like a dry rub, but it's wet. We did that. In here we have balsamic vinegar, and that combines with some Dijon mustard, minced garlic, salt, and pepper to taste. And you just sort of want to give it the consistency of a paste kind of thing. And then you're just going to apply it on the tenderloin. Sort of like your inner artist, your inner painter coming out here. Uh, cover that, and then you're going to want to leave it on the counter for about 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes, but leave it down there for that so uh, you get a better chance of it grilling evenly when it gets down to room temperature. So you just want to cover it up with this fabulous wet rub and then leave it on the counter for 30 minutes and then it's off to the grill for uh, about 20 to 25 minutes on medium high heat and we'll turn that once or twice. So getting ready to grill. Alrighty, so voila, here we have it, fresh off the grill. Well, actually, our pork tenderloin was removed from the grill and allowed to rest under a tent of foil for about five minutes. It's a great tip to do that because it will make it easier for you when it comes to slicing that allows the meat juices to redistribute and actually retain its natural juices. Keep in mind, best to remove the loin cuts from the grill when the internal temperature reaches about 155 Fahrenheit. How do you know when it's there? Well, you're never far from your trusty meat thermometer. Kind of fun to use. Check it out. See when you're ready to go. Uh, so you've got to use the meat thermometer. Then when it's resting under the tent of foil for about five minutes or so, it will go up to that temperature that you're looking for. Desired doneness, about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we've got right here. And we want to just slice it in uh, quarter inch pieces or so. Should be pink in the middle. Very juicy. And uh, then you want to serve it with grilled peaches maybe or your favorite whole grain pasta dish or side salad. And you are ready to go. Simple, easy, so tasty. It's Manitoba Pork Girl's Guide to Grilling. Today, a balsamic Dijon pork tenderloin with grilled peaches. Enjoy.